How much do you see connected TVs as a threat? Do they take away that connection to the IP world? Is 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 that a nightmare scenario? That no, I, I, I think I think as far as the um, the connected TV is, is concerned, I think it's going to be interesting on the second or third TV around the house. I think it's going to be something people are going to snack on. It's not going to be the all-encompassing managed service. It's not going to give the simple, easy-to-use service. I think people are going to want to switch on their set-top box and then go through a beautifully simple UI and then get into whatever services are in there managed through the pay TV operator because remember it's got to be simple to use it's got to be secure it's got to be it's got to be straightforward then the user won't particularly know and it probably doesn't matter exactly where it's Absolutely. coming from they're just going to be able to access it and I think applications you know they can't just be open source on on TVs not upgraded and everything else proper applications that are, are going to make the most use of the different videos, uh, video content uh, areas. They're going to have to be well put together. They're going to be a proper managed service through the set-top box and then delivered around the house. I mean, I think that's what is really interesting at this conference. That's what everyone has been coming to the conclusion of, actually, in all the debates. After they've gone through the first bit of excitement about a connected TV, they all get back to the same point the set-top box, managed services, managed applications through the pay TV operators. It's been really interesting the conclusion has come to that very quickly here.